What's up guys, it's W Drums coming back from you live from my college dorm room. We've got another Skylanders Giants um quest guy. And this time we are doing chill. So you go to quest, hit A, hit A again, unlock them. Monster Masher, defeat defeat a thousand enemies. For this, just um my favorite is go to the Warnado. Um, hero challenge that you can buy throughout the story mode. I, I can't remember exactly, but you can buy it. Or just do any of the hero challenges that have you destroy a hundred enemies or so. And just keep doing those. Or just literally go through all the hero challenges. You'd be amazed at how many enemies you kill in total. It's very easy to get. Eat 50 pieces of food. It's highly recommended lately to do the hothead heroic challenge because of all the food you get. But if not, literally just um, do any heroic challenge. They've got so much food, always dropping from enemies, and also just chilling around there. It's very easy. Arena Artist. Talk to this guy. Once you beat, I think it's chapter 3 you'll get it. So you do this, talk to him. I go to the very first one, and this one. Don't get hit. You'll get it. And also, every time you beat a stage of enemies, he throws like six pieces of food at you. So right there, that goes to your total. It's awesome. And then we've got defeat an evil fire minion. What you do here is you're going to go to Glacier Gully. And you're going to get about midway through. And um, before you're going to see like a platform all the way down. And... There's going to be two huge chains on either side, chains. And one is going to take you down to an icy area, the other will take you to a fire land. Do that, defeat the puzzle, then afterwards, once you're in the fire area, you get locked out and you have to fight a fire minion, that's what you do. Then you just put chill on, but you need a fire guy to unlock people to enter that. I had no idea that water could stand in a fire environment, I thought that was so cool. So food for thought there. So that's how I did that one. We've got uh, PvP matches with the battle champ. Just connect up two Wii remotes that I do or whatever system you have. Just have them fight. Nothing at all. Kill them ten times. Very easy. Heroic challenger. Do any heroic challenge that's really easy. Don't get hit and you'll be fine. You get it right away. Elementalist. With this, you got to be smart. You have to know that... Uh, like, wherever you are, in certain parts of the game, you have an elemental advantage. You'll see the water sign up on one of the corners. I think it's the left corner. But also, you can manipulate that in PvP and have a water versus a fire element, which it's strong against. So you'll get the elemental advantage right away, meaning that every single bit of damage you do will be added onto that bonus damage of 7,500, and it'll add up over time. I find it roughly takes from, like, 20 to 40 PvP matches... Depending on who you have and how and what attacks you use, they produce certain different um, elemental little bonus things. So you'll see the difference. Waterfall. This one was hard for me at first. Knock 25 enemies off the edge of the world. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this because this was hard. I had no idea what the heck they were talking about. This is the only way I found so far. So if you find any other one, more power to you. Alright, so what you're going to do, see how these guys are just coming at you? Watch this. Chill here. Oh, he just killed himself. That's exactly what you do. You have these chompies, are the only enemies I've found so far that do this. Do this, have them all jump off the edge, and they die. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't get caught, though. So you lower them out, and then get them in here. See, and then they fall off. It's really humorous. It's tricky though, because they can corner you too. See, and then they fall off the edge. It's great. Do that with just this, you'll get in no time. Because over here, you'll have a plant that can keep conjuring them up. So conjure up 25 of them, and you're good to go. You'll be done in no time. This is my favorite. You just go here. They're so dumb, they'll just fall right off the edge. Oh. 
See? Those fall off the edge. And that's what they mean by the waterfall challenge. At first, I couldn't figure it out. I thought you had to shoot them with the shield to knock them off, but none of that made sense. I tried the battle arena thing where you knock them off the edge, and this is the thing that I came across. And finally, Ice Sore. Defeat six enemies with one Ice Narwhal attack. This is so easy. I'll just show you because I don't want to confuse you guys. I do it in the heroic challenges. I literally do almost everything in the heroic challenges, just so you know. It's right here. I'll show you how easy this is. This is what I like to do. I like to get rid of all these guys. There's only a couple. Get rid of all that. Oh crap, now I have the big crystal down my butt. Have all these break, and then just wait for them to group up, and then watch this. Hold A down, and shoot it. Ah crap, you don't get caught. Hold on a second. Right here. Easy. Look at them, they're all gone. You just group them in a, a big group like that, not that excessive of course. See, look, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. You could even be smart and do it like this. Shove it through there, you know? It's so easy. So no one should have a hard time with that anymore. It's six enemies, too. It's not like they're demanding a lot. So you guys got this. It's really that easy. So that being said, I'm going to show you the final results of what you get. You have the bronze hat. This is ugly. You got the silver. You're getting there. And then my favorite, the gold. It looks weird on her, but it's so good. I don't have the night helmet yet from Chaos Mode still, so I'll get it eventually. Nightmare Mode, whatever you call it. So that is Chill. She's kicking butt. I can't wait to max her out. So, yep, those are all of her quests. And then once you max them out, they get gold all around their side. It turns silver. I mean, it's plain silver and then gold when you finally max it. It looks really cool. And then you'll see it's like that. It's really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pat. I'm sorry, quest video. And I'm definitely going to be doing more. I'm going to be finding new ways to uh, do them. And I'll show you. So take care and have a great night. Peace.